Yesterday we opened frame number 15, which means that today we will be opening number 16, our very last frame. Here we go. Take a look at this. This is a photo of a plate. Now, a plate you would use at home to put your food on, your sandwiches, your pasta. It has a china pattern on it, a china painting. And there is something very special about this specific, this special pattern. It's called a willow pattern. Does anybody know what a willow tree is? Yeah, it's a type of tree. It's this tree here. This is a willow tree. A willow tree hangs, it grows up and then it hangs. This tree behind me here is not a willow tree. The branches are sticking up. Some people feel that willow trees look a bit sad because they come up and then they, they hang. Now a willow pattern was designed in China many, 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 many years ago. And we're going to have a little look on the map to see where we can find China. But we're also going to learn a little bit about the story behind this special willow pattern. Because the willow pattern is a plate that has been painted with blue china, blue porcelain painting, just like with a lot of the Danish china, the Danish cups and the Danish plates that you can buy that have blue on them by maybe Royal Copenhagen. Um, but this tells a story. It's like a fairy tale. I know in Explore Denmark with Anna, you've been learning a little bit about Ho Se Andersen. I know you have because I can hear through the door you shouting Ho Se Andersen. Ho Se Andersen. Well, Ho Se Andersen wrote fairy tales. The Ugly Duckling. I know that was one of the fairy tales that you, you looked at together. And The Little Mermaid. But this is a fairy tale about a willow tree and a young girl in love. Let's look at China and let's learn the story behind this specific beautiful willow pattern. As I already said, willow patterns come from China. They are a tradition here. Let's find Denmark first. Can you point on the map where Denmark is? Yes, we're getting really good at this. This green, beautiful blob, there is Denmark. And China is very large. And on this map, China is yellow. Can you find something big, a big country that's yellow and begins with the k, 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 k. And this is the k, k for caterpillar. That's this country here, China. As you can see, many different, well, I would like to call them artists. A lot of people would call them China pattern um, workers, China pattern drawers, painters. Um, for me, this is indeed art. These plates have been painted with a small brush by hand with special paint and then put in the oven to make sure that the paint and the glaze of it dries so that it does not wash off again. It is time to look at the story. Far away lived a beautiful princess called Kunse. 
She was sad because she couldn't marry Chang, the man she loved. I am so unhappy. My father is making me marry Ta Jin. I want to marry Chang. Her father wanted her to marry an old warrior chief called Ta Jin. You have to marry him, or you'll be punished. She shall be my bride. Kung Shi and Chang escaped from the guards to an island where they lived happily. Help! I'm falling in the water. The Empress spy found them. They wanted to take them prisoners. Kung Shi and Chang turned into beautiful turtle doves and soared high in the sky. As you can see, I've put Emma Sophia to work here. She has been given a white pot and some special uh, markers. Some markers that are designed for drawing and writing on um, pottery and porcelain and ceramics and glass. Um, and then we can put it in the oven and uh, it won't wash off. So she's designing some pots for plants for us. I um, can imagine that you might not have these at home and we had them at school for you ready to use this unit. However, I have a plan B. That means that if the first plan doesn't work, there's always a backup plan and Olivia here is helping me with that. Say hi Olivia. Hi. Hi. Hi Olivia. Olivia has gotten some different shades of blue pencils and I've drawn a blank plate for her on a piece of paper. On um, this paper here I drew a cup and a plate and what we'll be doing is we'll be designing our very own. You can do this at home too. So take some white paper, draw or get some help to draw a cup and a plate and use different shades of blue to make your very own willow fairy tale stories. You can choose what it will look like, you can choose what kind of animals you would like and uh, Emma Svia, do you want to show a little bit of what you've been working on? I've made a willow tree. Yeah, the willow I've tree. I've made some tulips up here. Lovely. Because I really like tulips. Yeah, exactly. So um, Emma Svia has drawn something that she likes and she has remembered the willow tree in there as well.